Good morning. I'm trying to start my day by not drinking caffeine. Um, as you would have seen in my last What I Eat in a Day, I do drink a lot of caffeine. So I'm really trying to cut that down. So I've been making these turmeric and ginger lattes. I did make a short on how to make this. So definitely go check that out. I've been really enjoying it and I haven't been drinking caffeine till noon. And I feel so much fresher. I don't need a coffee to get me out of bed in the morning. And it's only been a few weeks. I put my homemade oat milk in and you'll see it just changes colour from this beautiful red to this lovely yellow. It's super, super yummy, great way to start the day and caffeine free. As you would have seen in previous videos, I don't eat my breakfast until a little later in the morning, about... 10, half 10, and I always have porridge. I cook my oats with half water and half homemade oat milk. I find this gives us the best results and I make enough for me and my partner. And then I start on the toppings. So I always have half an apple on my porridge and a squirt of syrup. I usually have date syrup, but I didn't have any. I need to make some more. I have some cinnamon and some mixed seeds on top as well. My partner also has mixed seeds, but he has homemade mixed berry jam. So as well as trying to eat well, I'm also trying to drink more water. And I did mention this in my last video, my healthy habits. Um, so I have this jar. This is about a litre. It's just an old pasta jar and then if I just leave this on the side or carry it around with me during the day around the house, um, I find I drink more water. So I've had, I already had half a litre because I had leftover from last night. Um, so I drank that with my breakfast and then I have this whole litre and I aim to drink three of these a day and cut down on my caffeine. So yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> So for lunch I'm just chopping up our leftover veggies and mixing some brown lentils, quinoa and some nice warm spices and even some fresh chilies which were actually locally grown. Um, I'm putting it all in my instant pot with a bit of water and making a kind of quinoa brown lentil salad. I've made this before, it's super yummy, I'm just trying to perfect the recipe but it's just an extra way to get added protein and just lots of goodness um, into our diet. I also chopped up some potatoes and cooked them in a little bit of olive oil. And this is the finished product. I've got my potatoes, my quinoa lentil salad, some leftover lettuce which is locally grown and some vegan mayo. I really really enjoyed this, super yummy. So in the afternoon I had a snack, apple and peanut butter, of course, what else? Once I finished my snack I also made sure I had plenty of water so I hit my 3 litre a day goal. So for dinner it was just me, so I got myself out a frozen meal. This is just a chickpea and cauliflower curry that we had left over ages ago. I always like to make too much and then freeze a portion or two and they're portioned out perfectly for each of us. So I just defrosted this portion of curry and then reheated some rice from yesterday. I reheat rice quite often, I did used to work in a kitchen so... I know how to reheat rice properly, but obviously be careful. 
Um, but yeah, so I just served it in a bowl because it's quite runny and enjoyed this as my dinner. So after dinner and just before we go to bed, we always make a pot of tea. Recently it's been peppermint tea or occasionally chamomile as well. I really enjoy having peppermint tea before bed because it helps me digest my big meal and just relax me before bed. And I always drink it with my book. So I'll just cozy up in bed with my book and take my tea with me. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, comment down below any content you want to see from me, have a beautiful day and stay kind, bye.